Hello, welcome back again to NX Progressive Die Tutorial. So in this session, I would like to show you how to use the die base tool to design the dies. So in here, I will show you that we will create this, and next we will split the die base. So it become uh, from one before split, and then we create three after split. Okay, so the die base uh, is very useful. So you don't need to create uh, the 3D model manually. The annex will create automatically based on your selection. Okay, let's get started. This is the strip layout that I already made and explained in the previous video. So I will start with die base. Reset. Okay, die base design die base. The parent. Okay. Select here the parent you can select in the project die 34 or uh, the child die base 0 38. Okay, the parent in assembly 3. Uh, in here, we have uh, a lot of choice. Uh, we have universal 1, universal 2, and so on. But in here, I will use universal 4. And you can see in the information window, this is going to be the layout of the dice itself. Okay, now we also have a uh, additional selection we have 8 plates 9 plates 10 plates and 12 plates you know, so maybe today I will use 12 plates so uh, now I want to choose the universal 4 with 12 plates and which one which one so this is, is up, up to you, but the uh, the basic rule is the die must enclose from the pilot piercing to the final stage, uh, the trimming stage. So maybe in this uh, session, I will select about this one. Okay, and then I specify reference point. The reference point. I will choose the this one the pilot piercing hole click OK in here distance to die base edge I just give a zero maybe I can modify later if uh, the, the die base is not not good enough okay now let's see let's see okay uh, this is good viewing when I click apply uh, the annex automatically create the die base Okay, that's done. You can see. I will click OK first to see the layout. As you can see in here, we have the die base. All the part, the strip layout inside but I think it's not long enough but then you see in here there's no interference between the component of the dice with the strip layout so maybe I'm gonna make some little adjustment okay in here you see the post one is very near in here so it is impossible to put some kind of pilot piercing because it's almost outside Modi modification will be needed 
you must go back again to the database and select database to edit you click edit okay I will get an offset maybe about 100 apply so it will automatically create offset and you can see in here the post one the post one this is the post one so in here we have a, a, a piercing a piercing but in here you cannot see uh, clearly uh, NX provide this tool is called view manager so when you go to view manager like this one uh, you can easily uh, show and hide the database you see the database upper plates you can hide easily show it again hide again now you can see in here in post one uh, we can put a piercing tool in here the pilot piercing so after we offset 100 millimeters is good but if I want to edit again I can use database select database maybe on I just want to offset about 50 click OK it slightly move okay now in here uh, is still too short we must edit a little bit now you can see in here we have a lot of uh, what is called a parameter in here you can also change in here some of it uh, you can change uh, directly just click in or selecting because some of some the others it means in here it have some a uh, formula so in here we have PL how about 250 uh, it's slightly move okay can see now okay it's slightly move but it's okay so it means that in here is good enough you know here also is good enough but everything is up to you if you want to move this very close to the edge it means you have to change again the value now you see it's very close to the edge but just be careful because we must put also the a trimming tool in here okay so after this what we should do next is go to design tool we will split the die base from one here before split after split it become three section how to do that we just go to the design tool go to split die plates select house die base so along X direction and click pick split location so the clue is you pick uh, the best place where you put but it will not interfere with the tool for example it will not interfere with the piercing tool not interfere with the forming tool so uh, I already decide I will split in here now I will show you NX automatically split click apply
Oke, okay. NS auto automatically add some new component, the default component for this uh, die base. Oke, okay. now as you can see, if I hide the upper, NX automatically create additional uh, components for the for the die base. Now I will split again. Split die plates, the whole sub die base, pick split location. Now I will pick the split location. Maybe we can split in here. Just please make sure do not cut the the possible place for tooling. For example, you should not cut in here. In here, I think it's good. Okay, and then click. Okay. It's done, completed. You can see now it consists of, of three uh, components one, two, and three. If I hide, you can see now we have three uh, section and the cutting location. I think is good because I will not add uh, some other parts some other uh, tool in here so even though I will add tool to form this one it will not interfere with this uh, split location in here also is in here I just only put a piercing tool but it will not interfere this uh, location of of the cutting okay so we finish splitting on the die base and then on the next video, we will continue to uh, piercing insert and die a cavity insert. Thank you for watching and please watch my next video.